What's up guys? Welcome back to the newest vlog. Here we go. That was a stupid intro. Anyways, hey, welcome back to the video. I'm home and check it out. The house is actually looking pretty dang good because I just spent all day cleaning it. Let me give you a look at this year's stack. It's getting taller and taller. This is with the new additions from our latest shed trip. Me and Martin went out there and absolutely killed it on an overnight backpack. What did I come in here for? Oh, the sunglasses. We uh, killed it on this overnight backpack trip. So if you guys have not already started watching the shed tour uh series on the hushin channel you need to at least do me a favor and watch the most recent ones they're titled extreme elk shed hunting they're on the channel and they're already rolling but anyways that is what's going on on the hush channel so many so many random calls today my phone number has been the same since uh i was in high school, funny story, the last four digits of my phone number spell my name, Eric, E-R-I-C, so it's 3742. The Verizon guys were like, hey, do you wanna pick the last four digits of your number? Check if Eric is available. And it was, so yeah, that's kind of part of my phone number. Going to the gym. By the way, today is Memorial Day, so thank you to all who have served. I 100% believe we live in the greatest country, and I feel like myself, through what we've done with Hush and business and entrepreneur stuff, definitely living the American dream. And I can say for sure, it is possible. You can get out there, work your butt off, live the dream life, live how you want to build your life if you can just work hard and uh, push through. So thank you to all I've served and who have all made that possible. So now I'm headed to the gym, gonna meet up with Martin. We're gonna do legs and uh, got some new stuff from Outfitted I wanna show you when I get there. So let's jump over to the gym. Who made it. Man, it's nice to get some sunshine here in Salt Lake. It has been rainy. Definitely one of the wettest springs of all time. Gonna meet up with Martin, he's already here. I got him a gift, two of the new outfitted t-shirts. So I'm still waiting on shorts and uh, tank tops, but we do have the t-shirts. What's it. up? What Ready up? Ready to crush it? Looks like Thank you gave, it. Her, gave it a clean down a little bit, huh? It, it took 40 minutes just to wash this. And then I crawled underneath, still caked with mud. So I gotta get underneath and wash somehow. <laughs> looks clean, needs a little detail, but it's looking nice. It was muddy. Here, I got some shirts for you. These are the new ones, new t-shirts. Awesome. So these t-shirts, for anybody who's interested, run a little small. I'm actually wearing an XL, and I brought larges for Martin. He usually bounces back between medium and large, so I think the large will fit you good. We're gonna do legs. I've already done legs once, but Martin was like, please, like, help me, like, <laughs> teach me how. <laughs> Gotta get ready for the pack outs, you know? No kidding. Guys, seriously, go watch those shed videos. Before we get working out, one more quick shout out to Hoof It Socks. I got my America socks on for Memorial Day. You like that? Finally a sock that's long enough and big enough to go around my calves, but I think it's cutting off my circulation there. <laughs> Had a killer leg workout. It was actually uh, session number two for me. Bridget just got home from fishing and she brought home <laughs> these guys. What's up, dude? Do something. What's that? Hmm? Where's your brother? Well, this is not the first time that Bridget has found kittens why she's been out on the mountain and brought them home she actually found a cat a while back i think it was last year and she found someone to take that one and take care of it there's two of them they're both twins look there's brookie she's not very happy about the kittens oh there it is check out these cats guys talking about entrepreneurship earlier in the video if i was smart i would just keep these kittens build a youtube channel dedicated to kitten twins film them throughout the day and put up like two videos a day on YouTube. That is how you make money. Kittens and cats are like one of the most YouTube search things ever. Well, these two sure have been entertained in my antler stack. Huh, cat. They just basically walk around like it's a playground. Bridget did say she's gonna throw them up on KSL, which is just a classified ads here in Salt Lake, and try to find a home for them.
good morning guys welcome to the second day of the little vlog we got going on here yesterday pretty much ended in a sushi date with Bridget she's been gone fishing like I said and we haven't been to sushi for a little while and that's kind of our favorite little treat is to go get sushi together before I get going I wanted to just take a moment and tell you guys thank you to everyone who watched my last video and in case you missed it the last video is uh, the Mother's Day video where I gave my mom a car so thank all of you guys who left positive comments man that thing was like overwhelmed with uh, just nice things so I really appreciate all the comments and uh, appreciate those of you guys who watched the video all right today is Tuesday it's raining in Salt Lake City as you can see I was just gonna say today I'm gonna be shooting my bow at the Easton Center with Martin we're gonna film a video we have some meetings coming up today we are announcing the truck winner of the hush truck very very soon good luck everybody I'm gonna go hit the gym today's gonna be a chest and shoulders day and then we'll just carry on with this thing absolutely crushed chest and shoulder day actually feeling really really good I've been very active the shed hunts all the hiking and hunting I've done is definitely keeping me active so there's no shortage of just staying busy and and you know burning calories but when I travel ooh, man I don't eat the best so that's definitely been a fail not like a horrible fail not the worst possible but definitely room for improvements time to get the bow out this is pretty sad guys I haven't shot my bow for a long time as an avid archery hunter I think it's important to shoot your bow as much as possible I failed to do so just because shed hunting has been on the mind so got my release and I need to get out my bow boom what do we got what do we got looks like we're loaded with uh, broadheads Ooh, there's a muddy one <laughs> you know that's not a good sign I can't even remember what hunt this is from to be completely honest with you guys but looks like we looks like we missed okay we got the bow ready to rock and roll switched out uh, broadheads for fill tips so let's call that good not gonna lie guys not gonna lie shot like a champ felt pretty dang good for not shooting for a long time the bow my pro defiant she's on ready for Texas definitely like to get out and shoot more before we get there but feeling pretty confident after uh, shooting a little bit with the guys so that was a ton of fun video will be up on the hush channel of course now we're gonna have a shed party what's up dude dude vlogging no are you a vlog no I'm not dude this is not give me the goods all right give me the money same time <laughs> one two three check this out guys we're gonna put the match together again Ben and I match this up in April yep April 26th <laughs> what time uh, about 4 48 p.m. okay cool yeah he's got it dialed in but I've got the other side to this we gave it a little nickname yep any guesses <laughs> uh, I'll say it it's called the Virginia Bowl yep look at it <laughs> what else do you call it? I don't know. Yeah, it's the Virginia Bull. That's what we named him. This He's kind of goofy. But both his pedicles have this slit in it. And uh, I've seen a lot of sheds, being a shed hunter myself, and all the sheds I've seen my friends pick up. I've never seen a bull with two pedicles that both had this deformity right here. We're having show and tell here. Yes, yes. Showing them the stack from this year, which is mostly this stuff. Wes just showed up with his Kansas butt. Let's see the beast. All right, this is the side I found. Uh, the kid we went out with, Kyle, he was telling us about this buck, and he was just, you know, getting our goats going a little bit, just trying to get us excited. Mm -hmm. Walked a half hour, and I looked into that. We did a big loop, and then my buddy Chad Dang. ended up finding this a couple hundred yards away. Holy smokes. For any of you guys that watch the best season yet, I shot a buck in Kansas. And just like the same color of antler, like they don't ever get dark out there, right? Most no. of them. Look at that thing. So like bone white and polished. That's freaking pretty. This is a sweet set, dude. He's long. Yeah. What's he score? Uh, That's a big horn, dude. I'm not a professional scorer, but this side I had going at 87. This side at 77. Gave him a 20 inch spread. It's like 185-ish. Like. That's a giant buck, man. Is this something they hunted? Uh, 
they actually have trail cams of this buck. I think only like two or three pictures mm -hmm. and they tried to find it, couldn't find it. And then, uh, like I said, he was just getting us excited and you guys found it. Old, there it is. You couldn't replicate the color of these antlers. I don't think, or it'd be hard just because so white. Yeah, yeah. There's just you know, touches like, of it brown. Just, yeah. It'd be hard to do that. That's this is a big one that I found that's coming up on the Hushin videos. So the best one I found on the trip. So cool. I want to see that. Crazy Love shape, that. huh? Yeah. Look at that bean. Love that. A little flare. It's so cool. And I want to show you the difference between a, a big buck and a giant when it comes to whitetail. I'm no whitetail expert, but when it comes to the frame of this thing, between the eye guard, the length of the main beam, and the tines, and the mass, like everything, it just is like next level. Next level. So my buck, with all the extra, is like a 170. And what did you say this was, you thought? Like 180s. Yeah, I, dang, maybe it's bigger. <laughs> it I'm not bigger. a professional scorer, this and I thing, got like high 180s. This thing has a lot of extra time, right. it's like a lot of extra points that do add up, but as far as the mainframe goes, look at the difference. Well, it's got, yeah, it's, I mean, it's got a couple inches. Yep. And on the beam and the extra. So these are both Kansas whitetail, and mine's a little darker, like he's definitely rubbing up a little bit these weren't out there very long right like no uh like three or four months because they dropped they late dropped january early. and then we found him april 18th ish okay. or so something they've like been that. out there for a while but yeah. still like you can tell it was never dark to begin with mm -hmm. that's just how those kansas bucks are man they're just like white antlers they actually call them white tails because the white of their antlers, white antlers too. yeah <laughs> so anyways yeah little known fact buck. super happy for those guys to, that'd be a dream find like i've always wanted to go anywhere whitetail hunting but specifically the midwest like iowa or missouri or kansas I haven't done it yet but that's on the bucket list to find something like that a lot of people shed hunt for whitetails and will never scoop something like that it's a giant no, I can't even get a where's the goods do i get to park there yeah yeah you're good what about the big shed Dude, too big to just to, to just bring in here have two hands <laughs> go snag it Oh, that is Holy nice. crap. We're just messing up the house. Hold oh, that dang. Sucker. It's a five point. Oh. That's heavy. Dude. Dang. That's such a Look at that bowl. beast. And you have the that trail cam photo, huh? Yeah. Just, he doesn't look that big in it. Cammed him a couple of years. We picked up three years before this one, a left side off him. I sold it though. Dang. I didn't know we were going to have history with him. Dude, you one. think the other side of that is out there still or you think it's picked I up? I don't know of it being picked up. I walked 15 or about 20 yards below this and about 30 yards above it in two different days. Then Messed my dad up. goes up and he's like, you miss this. Look at that third. Is that third 26? I don't know. 25. Measure it. Chad Crazy's got a good That's scoring 20. system. Oh, the, the length of the third. That's a big thing. He's heavy. 23? 23. 23. I, I want to say it was something like that. Hold on. I know. I was going to... 9, 18, 24. You tell me, where would you Boone pull that Crockett from? Boone and Crockett rolls. I do yeah. exactly what you're doing. Over there to the other side. Right where the four is, pretty much. This is unofficial. This is official. This is official. 100% official. 24. 24-ish. Yeah. I'd give it 24. A little chip to it. Oh, that's, yeah, 24. That's dirty. What did I say? 22.7? Yeah. 22.6. That's a big, that's about as big as they get. So why don't you shoot him? I can't ever find him. Just want me to do it? <laughs> Be my guess, yeah. I've tried. I've, the closest to like hunting season I've got is first week of archery opener. Uh, I got him on camera and I've never seen him since then. Until like so late season. Cool. So cool. Well, the party ended and everybody left, and I got to restack the entire stack of sheds. Ben decided to just tear the whole thing down and look at every antler that I've found this year. And I got to reorganize it and stack it back up, but guess what I get to do now? Any guesses, anybody? <laughs> I get to tear it down, all of it, move it, and clean up cat. <laughs> yes! What time is it? What time is it? I'm doing it. Stop being a. 10 p.m. No. Eric's a hater. I love. I like cats, guys. I don't hate the cats. He's a hater. But 
I knew it was gonna happen. The funny thing is, on my Instagram, someone DM me like, those cats are gonna take a crap in your antler pile. They did, there's a cat crap back in the far corner, and I literally just had this whole stack torn down. But it's a good time to reorganize it. You know, I might pull out some stuff I need to sell anyways, so. Anyways, it'll be fun. Just wanted to say thanks for watching the vlog. I thought today's vlog was pretty fun, especially with having some friends over, going to shoot bows and doing all the fun things. So let me know if you guys liked it. Just kind of another day in the life. What's so funny over there? Hater. I'm not a hater. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe to the channel. Appreciate it. Leave a comment below, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.